hello everyone and welcome in hope everyone is doing well positive healing vibes to all the subscribers the viewers and the world out there today we're going to take a look at taurus's week ahead for september 13th through the 19th and in this message we're going to first tap into the energies with the psychic tarot deck here then we are going to get an overview message with the fairy tarot we'll dig a little bit deeper with the traditional deck I'll clarify the message as well as pull a few oracle cards at the end. If that's something you guys are interested in, you're more than welcome in joining us. So, Taurus, let's see what we can see for you guys for September 13th through the 19th. Please and thank you, Spirit. Most important message here for my Taurasian friends. What does Taurus need to see? September 13th through the 19th. Please and thank you. Please keep in mind that the messages on YouTube are general. They're not going to resonate every time with every person. It's really about the title there's something in the title resonating there's most likely going to be something in the message for you for information on energy cleanse kits that are offered how to get entered into the drawing that we do here for free personal readings it's all linked below and taurus if you like how i vibe you like how i interpret the cards you're more than welcome to subscribe to the channel everyone's welcome and it does help set your intentions for future messages more cards here for Taurus. Please and thank you. There's quite a bit here. Put these three over here to the side and we will take these four. Yes. Yes. So the, the three that I'm going to put over Communication is definitely going to be key within this reading. We'll keep that card out, okay? Um, just as a reminder, there's definitely a decision that you're going to have to make here coming up. What I see here in the cards, Taurus, is preparation for this decision, okay? The tower the temperance so there's an ending a uh, disruption this is going to be like it's not gonna feel very it's not gonna feel very good Taurus when this happens but you need to trust the process here because it's going to bring in balance okay something here is needing to end for something new to come in Okay, and I feel like this is going to bring in prosperity. This is going to bring in abundance. This is also something that you're probably very passionate about or show a lot of passion towards, depending on if this is a relationship or a career opportunity. Because of the cards that are presenting, for most of you, I'm going to read this as a career opportunity, okay? This could very well be a relationship ending to bring in a new, more stable relationship for some of you as well. But I do feel the power card, this is the strength card in traditional tarot. This card talks about acceptance, really, acceptance of the process, like patience with the process and a little bit of understanding of the things that might not be so clear you're definitely needing to make a wise decision here based on what you see for your future i do feel like there is going to be significant changes here but you're being asked to kind of take a step back and really gather your thoughts, gather what it is exactly that you want to say to this person or what exactly it is that you want to present in this business opportunity. So, these on the bottom, let's see what these ones. Mm -hmm. 
It's the Two of Pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles. So I do see positive movement forward here, Taurus, definitely. And again, I feel like this is a career opportunity, business opportunity, something along those lines. So let's get into the message here. I do feel like this may be a little bit stressful. We may find that this is going to cause a little bit of a disruption within your emotional state just because you might be uncertain like about money. So let's take a look. Most important message for Taurus. Please and thank you. Taurus for September. I believe that's enough. Might be one too many. All right, let's see here, Taurus. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This is a beautiful message here. Definitely, definitely a beautiful message from what I can see. I do feel a need for communication here. I'm going to put this up here at the top because I feel like that's a big part of this message that's coming through here. There's a need for communication, okay? So I don't mean that you need to communicate something to another person. Being clear on what you want to communicate is important. Like, what do you envision the outcome being? What's the outcome of all this? You know, um, I do get the sense that this is a business opportunity here. Happy news about a career promotion. Something that you've maybe put a lot of work, a lot of effort into is finally paying off. Also feel like this is something that you've had your heart set on for a while and you may be starting to see things come from this. Things come to fruition here. You're needing to trust the process. The high priestess is present. That talks about intuition, um, Taurus. Emperor, Queen of Autumn. The Queen of Autumn is the Queen of Pentacles, okay? You're moving towards a more stable, more solid future. Abundant. Something along the lines of anything, everything that you've ever desired is going to be coming true. If you've wanted freedom in your career, maybe you wanted to be have this leadership role, whatever vision that you've planned out here, it's coming to fruition. And I know that sounds so general, but it's going to be different for each of you. Some of you may have planned like your own business and things are starting to, to turn in your favor. You're, you may start to see an incline in business or um, more money coming in, things finally paying off, things finally working out. This could also be a career. Maybe this is a promotion that you've worked towards for a while and this is finally coming to fruition, okay? Um, we're going to tap a little bit deeper into this, but I do definitely feel like it's financial related. I also feel like you are headed in a positive direction. This is a definite upgrade from where you have been. Okay. Now this tower moment that's coming out here, this disruption, it might, might Taurus seem at first like things aren't going in your favor but you're needing here again to trust the process so let's get some cards out here clarifying
if you haven't really gotten clear on your plan, now is the time. So if you maybe have touched on the plan a little bit, like for instance, this is a business. If you've worked on the business plan a little bit, but maybe don't have a solid business plan in place, like, you know, and you can print template templates for that stuff out online, guys. So it's not difficult. You don't need somebody to create your business plan for you. Go online to Google Docs. It's free. Look up templates for a business plan and voila, it'll guide you through it. If this is planning out a career or um, your next move within a promotional venture, it's time to look at what your next step is going to be. Reevaluate that plan. What is the next step here? Mm-hmm. Headed in a very positive direction here. Okay. I know we had one extra card, but that is a-okay, -okay, Taurus. We're going to scoot all this stuff down here. King of Wands is on the bottom of the deck. This tells me that whatever it is that you're working towards, you are very passionate about. This is something that, again, that you've maybe had a vision for a while. Things are starting to come to fruition. Now, the reason why I talk about that plan is because the Two of Wands is coming out in reverse with the Page of Pentacles. Okay, the Two of Wands and the Upright is the plan. Okay. But here, I feel like you're really not in align. You're, you're kind of maybe off alignment with your vision. You are headed in the right direction and it's an easy fix, but just getting clear on where, what's the next step. It doesn't have to be a long thought, thought out, drawn out plan. What's going to be the next step moving you towards that goal. It could be a baby step. Maybe it's posting a product on eBay for your business. Um, maybe it's doing a little bit of extra work every week for your boss to kind of get that one leg up from everybody else. Nine of Pentacles, Page of Wands. It's clarifying the Page of Pentacles. So the page is the Page of Pentacles is coming out twice in this reading. This opportunity is going to be very fulfilling, but you're needing to, to make sure, be very particular with how you proceed. Because every step is either going to be a building block to the future, or it's going to take something away from that. So be strategic here with how you proceed. There's some more communication for you. Okay. Take your time. Don't be afraid to hold back. Okay. Take your time. Don't, don't look, don't take that next step. Don't leap before you look. Don't take the next step until you know where exactly it is that you're headed here. And I do feel like you are in the process of recalibrating that vision. For some of you, maybe you need a business plan. And that was a great idea to go to Google Docs. And that was what you came here for this reading. For some of you, you've already done that. You've already made that plan. Now what? Make sure. Okay. Trust but verify. Make sure that that's the right step and then proceed. But be strategic, be practical while you're proceeding. Make sure that everything is in alignment with where you're headed with that plan, okay? Pay attention to your thoughts. The magician is popping up here. It's always talk about we always talk about manifestation with a magician. This could be the tool, having the tools that you need to proceed, having the understanding, the awareness. The magician and the empress is clarifying the emperor. So there could definitely be somebody in your midst that is helping you through this process. 
but I do feel like there's definitely something that you're working on here, Taurus, that's bringing in prosperity, bringing in abundance. And I really do get the sense that it's a business opportunity or a promotion, something along those lines. It's definitely bringing in money. A lot of practicality coming out of this reading. We have the Three of Cups and the Four of Swords clarifying the Queen of Autumn, which is the Queen of Pentacles. Again, this opportunity that you're headed towards is going to be very abundant. I feel like you and whoever is involved in this business venture are going to... You're going to be happy with what you get out of this, okay? And needing to trust the process here, especially if you feel like something is ending that might be needing to um a perspective shift you know needing to change your perspective on that whatever when one door closes another door always opens so let's clarify taurus Nine of Pentacles, Page of Wands. Mm, take your time. Don't be afraid to take a step back and go within and get clear. Crystal clear, like certain without a doubt. And then proceed. feel like you're holding your, if you're feeling any resistance here, Taurus, you're holding yourself back by the way that you're perceiving this situation here. Eight of Cups, King of Cups. Out with the old, in with the new. Here's the Page of Wands again. So there's definitely a need here to just proceed with caution. Okay. Um, again, don't take the next step without weighing out those options, with weighing out the pros and cons, with being certain that that's the right path. You are being intuitively guided as well, so pay attention to that Jiminy Cricket, if you will, on your shoulder. Knight of Cups with the Three of Wands here for Taurus. Mm-hmm. Ending to the past. You're moving forward here, Taurus, very swiftly and not looking back. Mm-hmm. This is definitely seeming like it's a career change or like a bit maybe you're getting a promotion to like a manager position and you're not having you're not gonna ever have to go back to having a normal position again obviously if you have a man a manager position under your belt now you have that experience now you can be a manager somewhere else right ace of wands and the eight of wands This is happening very quickly. Okay, this is all happening very quickly. You're going to need to take that time to get back in alignment with that vision, get back in alignment with that plan, all of those things that I touched on in this reading. You're the one that's, it's going to be your job here, Taurus. The ball's in your court. This wheel is just going to keep turning. And I feel the need to say, Taurus, there is a need to be prepared for this new opportunity coming in. Prepare yourself, like prepare what you want to say, prepare what you want to present. However, that is resonating for you guys, okay? So let's pull a few cards out here, Taurus, for your advice, guidance moving forward. I am going to do an extended version, guys, to the reading. In the extended version, we're going to take a look into um, 
where this is all headed, right? What are the next steps here moving forward? What's the outcome if the guidance is followed? Pull out a few different Oracle decks. If that's something you guys are interested in, you're more than welcome in joining us. That link is below in the description box. Also guys, the second link is to subscribe to Vimeo. Check it out. You get access to all the extended readings for all the signs. You're walking away from something that was once a solid staple in your life. Okay, maybe a solid person, maybe a solid job, a solid relationship. I do feel there is a need here to get back in alignment with where you're headed, with your vision, with your path. Okay. Um, And however that is resonating, I'm seeing this here as a business opportunity. This could also be the ending of a relationship and a new passionate beginning coming in with somebody who may have been waiting around for you to move forward. I do feel here that there is going to be success, happiness on this path. It's not going to be easy to move to make this transition here and trusting your intuition is going to be key through this transition through this completion excuse me thank you for correcting again trust the process and I feel with the moon here, Taurus, this card is always talking about like murky waters and things not being clear and hidden and shadows and secrets. So things may not be crystal clear to you. Okay. Get as clear as you can with that vision so you can get in alignment with where you're headed the outcome what do you see what do you envision the outcome being you know where do you see yourself headed where do you see yourself in a year in five years in ten years down the road what does that outcome look like and then work your way backwards if this is a business or a career opportunity what exactly does that look like characteristics you know what type of job is it what type of business is it all of those things but if this is a relationship what type of characteristics does your future partner have are they tall dark and handsome maybe you like the nerdy type you know that's tech techno and all likes technology gaming all that stuff you know get clear on what you enjoy Taurus where you see yourself headed get a soul journey card out here for you Taurus if you're finding that this message has been helpful resonating with your situation please give it a thumbs up all the love and support is very much appreciated it does help with the growth of the channel and getting the message out there so thank you guys so much for that you are all amazing purpose I know what I am here to do You have chosen to reincarnate on earth for one major goal, to express love in all that you do. The obstacles of this physical dimension can distract you from that goal and it's easy to lose your way. Life on earth is full of obligations that require your conscious attention, but that doesn't mean you can't infuse all of your decisions with caring and compassion. Your purpose in life is not your career, rather, your career is guided by your purpose. What activities speak to your soul? What brings you joy? That is the direction your soul is calling you towards. To best convey your own unique expression of love and make a contribution to the world. If you are not happy with your current circumstances, then that is your soul telling you that there is a better way to manifest your own distinct gifts. Listen to your intuition 
it is your connection to spirit and the voice of your soul. Definitely feel like you are headed in the right direction here, Taurus. And I do feel this is a blessed career change here. I do feel this is a blessed career change. So you're needing to trust the process here. Um, it's almost like let go and let God, honestly. It's the easiest way to describe it. There is no blame. I release the need to blame anyone, including myself. We are all doing the best we can with the understanding, knowledge, and awareness we have. Beautiful, Taurus. Beautiful. So, Taurus, I feel like that's a good, solid message coming out for you guys for this week. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Thank you for liking, subscribing, sharing the content. You guys are all amazing. And I look forward to seeing your beautiful souls again soon. Namaste.